Hello, everybody. Recycling. We all have to do our part, you know. This is my third attempt at this video, and there will not be another one. It's already about 12 hours later than I had hoped. And I keep slurring my words and stuttering and everything else, but I just don't care right now. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Thought I'd just look at a couple of your responses for this and give away the cards I promised. 50 Hall of Fame baseball cards. We'll do a random uh, generator for that. So, first off, really appreciate your feedback. 43 comments. I think there was a couple duplicates, so we'll filter those, of course. But a lot of you liked, well, maybe we'll go over them real quick. These are the uh, sort of ideas I had proposed for potential name change. With the caveat that I could mix and match or just do what I want. You know, I mean, uh, what I asked for was feedback and, and not necessarily, you know, you're, you're picking the name. But I think I got some great ideas. Uh, some of the things that were proposed were, were really awesome. And I, I think I have an idea of where I'm going to go with this. I don't, I don't have a, a timetable uh, for when the rollout's going to be. And I'm probably not going to make a, a big grand announcement. Like, here's the new name. It's just going to show up. And for the most part, I, you know, people will figure out who I am. Because I am keeping the eddies for sure. And a lot of what I noticed about YouTube channels is... It's the personalities and the overall feel of the videos that are really the, the branding for the video. So at one point, for those of you that know, Chosen Roster went by Sean Tiford forever. And then one day just, just changed his name. And I thought, who am I subscribed to that's Chosen Roster? I could almost tell from the thumbnail. And when I clicked on it, it took me two seconds to figure out it was Sean. And I think most of our channels are that way. We have our own flair and our own our own um, feel for uh, what we're putting out there in the world. And like I said, I'm keeping, you know, probably at least for the um, title cards, you know, this kind of Safeco thing with the baseball card of me and the same sort of colors lifted off of the... Um, off the card border and all that sort of thing. So you'll you'll know it's me. Angry Old Man. I like Eddie's Northwest Sports Cards as a choice, but they're all great. Eddie's Sports Card Adventures. Sounds good. I hope you like it. Didn't see there was a reply here. I uh, really like that one. Great. Michael Myers says, add the and more. Already established. Branching out. Yeah. I've already established I'm branching out. That's true. That's true. If you if you watch the channel, you know my collection's just all over the place. And any given day you could be seeing a a hockey autograph and the next day you're seeing a like pre war tobacco baseball card. You know. That's that's who I am. And yeah, you already know that. But part of this is I want to um, reach out, reach out to new people. More friends, right? Uh, I like Eddie's sports card chaos. Simple change will benefit more than hurt your brand. Yeah, Eddie's needs to be in the title. I think that, that part's important to me. But paste cards? I'm not familiar with paste cards. I'll have to see if you uh, make any content. Shorter is better. I do like I do like short titles. And the one I'm thinking of is sort of like D, but even a little shorter. So Paul likes Eddie's sports card chaos. Yeah. Chaos part is catchy. I use Paul's hockey autograph mania back in the 2000s. And people found it easy to remember. My reading skills are not on. It's not the school year yet. So I'm not sharp on my read aloud skills. Uh, MP Fox. It needs to be part of the title. You are the draw star. <laughs> okay. I'm flattered. Would you start MP? Okay. Uh, look forward to the next phase. Plumber cracking cards. <laughs> At least I didn't suggest. Yeah. Speaking of plumber, I had some emergency plumbing to do here yesterday. I'll, I'll spare you the gross details, but I was able to pull it off without calling a professional. I'm very proud of that. 
Matt Bowler likes the Ann Moore Diamond Princess Eddie Skybox. That's kind of fun. Um, certainly something to think about. Four Leaf likes D. That is the sports card chaos and maybe add collectibles, something like that. That way I have an option to do some other stuff. Ethan, Eddie's card collection. That yeah, simple to the point. Mostly I do I do cards. I do have some some baubles and balls and things. Other things I do, but it's not not the focus of my collection. Shoebox said Eddie's baseball autographs and more, plus blue tape is better than green tape. Comma, but it's not a war, so it doesn't matter. Channel, <laughs> it's a bit wordy, but the kids like their acronyms. I'm not even going to figure out what that E B A M B T. Yeah, uh, that's that's a lot of fun. Whichever doesn't lock you into either cards or autographs or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, the the whole idea is that you can subscribe to my channel and see pretty much almost anything within reason and and that's someone that's not a subscriber sees Eddie's baseball autographs oh I'm not really into autographs right now I'm not gonna bother uh, Eddie's sports cards Eddie's West Coast sports cards Eddie's Northwest sports cards Eddie's autograph and collectibles love ideas two ideas from Brandon Eddie's sports card chaos Stadium Club Chaos. That might be kind of fun. Uh, thank you, Scott. Your kind words here. Autographs 2000. Whatever you name it, it'll be great. I appreciate that. It really means a lot to me. Sticks G. Here's some variations here. Eddie's Card Collecting. Eddie's Sports Cards. Eddie Collects Sports Cards. Eddie's Card Showcase. I like the word showcase. Yeah. Julie likes uh, top shelf polls idea. Yeah. Sports card adventures. Um, Jake. Eddie's awesome sports card autographs. Let me know what you think. Yeah. All right. Uh, Eddie's autographs and more. Eddie's card chaos, alliteration, and brevity. Thank you, Alan. Ranger likes A and D. Um, D is all-encompassing, sort of the idea. Uh, don't listen to me. My channel name has nothing to do with anything. Uh, you're almost to a thousand subs, so everyone already knows who you are. <laughs> Tony likes D and B the most. Um, maybe put something in that includes the record collection. Maybe. Sure. Mike likes D the best. But it's what you feel the most comfortable with. Uh, cool plastics. Everybody already knows you. But how about Eddie's Sports World? Eddie's Sports Machine? Eddie's Cool Cardboard? I can go on and on. Uh, I actually have a story about being called Sports Machine by one of my um, brother's... Uh, best friends back in the day uh, every time my brother came out from whatever social event I would regurgitate to him the sports events of the day that happened while he was gone and so this guy took to calling me sports machine um, oh Doug likes that <laughs> okay um, I'm not gonna do that but <laughs> I do like it sports machine uh, D and B Northwest is cool. Pays. Now I always wondered: is it homage or homage? Tell you what: if you have a strong opinion about this, because I hear this go both ways, come and reply to Walk in Box um, comment here. Is it homage? Will be um, choice A or homage B? Come and reply right here to Walk in Box. And this video and I will give away an extra 25 Hall of Fame cards to somebody if you're watching this part of the video and you made it this far so a is homage or homage B is homage I'm really interested in this okay sports card chaos is fun 
feel like my channel is too narrow. Sounding like you collect several sports. Eddie Vedder sports card chaos. People might think that it's Pearl Jam frontman. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they think it's Eddie Vedder. Uh, Doug likes D. Eddie's autographs and more. Flying Dutchman. I'm just getting ahead of Baseball Card Illustrated by suggesting Uncle Eddie's. I like D, but initial thought was A. I, I do like the Uncle Eddie moniker in a way. I have 13 nieces and one nephew. And uh, the older ones just called me Eddie. And I always I always thought, why, why aren't you calling me Uncle Eddie? I call my uncles Uncle and then their name. And so when... Um, Baseball Card Illustrated first wrote that, I think in a letter to me, thought that's really funny that I, at one point in my life, kind of made a big deal about this, and here they just picked it as, as something to call me. Zane, Eddie's Cards and Collectibles, I think you should call the channel Eddie's Approved Blue Tape. Okay, really, how about Eddie's Cards Plus? Also, you like D. Alan likes D. Blue tape approved. Uh, poor man stack D. By the way, I have some mail here from you. I'm going to open on my next uh, TTM video, which will be later today or tomorrow. At some point, I will be opening your letter. Thank you. Also, you like A. Alt Ego likes A, or just leave it. It's your channel, whichever grabs you by the toes. Pepino Man, Eddie's Cards, and all kinds of that word. Rick's Cards, The Bullpen, Blue Tape Adventures, Eddie's Eclectic Exhibits. Well, now we're really getting with the alliteration. All right, Eddie's Card Channel, right to the point. And my friend, uh, Christopher Perez, he's always got so much great stuff to, to say. V-O-I dot F-Y-I, great. Uh, you know, I'll think about that one. I'll, I'll think about that. We'll have to. We'll have to see. That's in the running. Thanks again, everybody. Let's go up here, grab the link if you're still with me. Uh, copy over here. I don't like it. The sample thing always makes me think that I already pasted it. Okay. Uh, filter duplicate users because a few people chimed in twice. They were so excited. You know. 37 individual comments. Uh, this is just going to be one and done. And go back and look for the Easter egg. If you skip to this point, just go back. Here we go. Carolina hits cards. Who won uh, last month's uh, won the last month's uh, TTM giveaways? Really awesome, man! You're cleaning up. That might have been the month before last. But I already have your address still. I'll get these out probably on Monday morning. Congratulations. You uh, you follow the right channel here. You're, you're cleaning me out. But for those of you that didn't win, go back and check for the Easter egg. If you would like to see a TTM video or a uh, either today or tomorrow, go ahead and hit thumbs up for me. And until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.